Yeah, welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's now time for Today in History, and I'm going back to the year 1996 to tell you about a very special woman whose name is etched in gold because she claims gold. And her name is Chio, Chioma Ajunwa. Uh, it was in this day in history that she actually took a break from the Nigeria police force. She had been uh, a police officer to go represent her motherland and uh, in this event. Uh, it was great to see that she won very well, um, received lots of promises of a house and all of that, which she didn't receive you know, for many years after. But it was good to know that in 2020, um, in 2021, just two months ago in June, um, the Lagos State Government did fulfill that promise um, to her. But it was on this day in history that she received the first individual gold uh, for jumping the length of 7.12 meters at her very first try in the finals of the games. Uh, Ajunwa, uh, you know, had this Olympic gold medal in Atlanta and she also received a national award. And to date, Ajunwa remains the only woman to compete at both the FIFA Women's World Cup as a footballer and at the Olympics as a track and field athlete. She's also a member of the Nigerian Police Force to date and she launched the Chioma Ajinwa Okpara Foundation, and that's to discover new sports talents. Um, I mean, there's so many, so many things I want to say about Chioma Ajinwa, you know, but I'll start with saying, you know, uh, how over time, and we're still saying it till date, that this is going to be a very risky point, but, you know, we're still saying it till date that people from the Southeast really have put Nigeria on the very, very... <laughs> best spotlights and how's that risky for, to say isn't it <laughs> and a, a lot of people will say oh you know why are you focusing on well really if you look at the records you know that we always celebrate and if you look at even if you look at the names for people who represent nigeria today in the olympics basketball athletics um even those who you would always see their names pop up here they represent other countries you know still from the southeast sadly but um i just i just thought it was interesting to share um that the southeasterners have you know, on their own, always, always, always put Nigeria on the very, very best uh, spotlight. You don't ever. have to feel guilty. It's a fact you say. <laughs> <laughs> You're not saying Woo, others are not I love doing so well, much. but these people are doing I love it so much. Thing. Anyway, let's um, also talk, um, you know, Olympics now. We're going back to, undoubtedly, uh, um, if, you, if you're going to think about, uh, you know, the, the five moments where Nigeria celebrated this one would definitely make the top two or top three uh, moments um, in our history. I, don't, I can't remember any other time that the country in, you know, has celebrated as much as we celebrated on the 3rd of August in 1996 um, after Nigeria won the Olympic gold um, in football, the men's football team. We had beat uh, Brazil first and they eventually played Argentina in the final where you know, a couple of goals down eventually then you know, you know, um, you know, equalized and then won that game um, and won the Olympic gold in football. Undoubtedly, Nigeria's happiest moment um, in a very, very long time. I don't think there's anything in, you know, well, maybe except 98. I don't think there's any other thing that has beaten, you know, that level of happiness, you know, as a country. But it was on this day, um, not on this day, actually, on the 3rd of August. We're just bringing it back because we're talking Olympics today, uh, that Nigeria won the Olympic uh, gold in football. Some other thing that I want to point out here is what we did in 1996 compared to what we're doing in 2021. Now, we're talking Ese Brume and Blessing um, Oboro Dudu. Um, but 1996, look at these names of me medalists from Choma Jowa, you know, who did uh, women's long jump gold, to, of course, the whole Nigerian men's soccer team. You know, all of them. The names are plenty. Abiodun Obafemi, Austin Okocha, Celestin Babayaro, Amokachi, Emmanuel Amunike, uh, Babayaro, Garba Lawal, uh, Mobi uh, Baraku, uh, Joseph Dosu, Teslim Fatusi, Tijani Babangida, Victor Ekpeba, Wilson Oruma. It's a long list of, you know, of names. There's also for Silva, Falila Togunkoya, BC Afolabi, Fatima Yusuf, Charity Okpara, who, went, who won the women's silver in the 4x400 meters uh, relay. Bronze, Falila Togunkoya, who won the women's 400 meters. Mirion Yali, who won women's 200 meters. Um, and then uh, Duncan Do. Doki Wari, who won boxing and um, in bronze rather for uh, men's super heavyweight boxing. That was the that was the you know list of names in 1996. In 2021, we have just two names, and that's it. It's a wrap. Go home. Wait for 2020 or next year's Olymp um, or next uh, Olympic Games, you know, and hope that you know we might do better. That really for me is painting a picture of where we were. Uh, in 96 compared to where we are today. You, you know the sad thing I, I, that I notice? It's, it's just unfortunate that 
when we talk about Nigeria's history, there seems to be like lots of glorious things to talk about where we're coming from, especially, you know, post-independence. That, oh, Nigeria was great, food prices were, you know, cheap, this and that. And you're looking at now, the 2021s, and you're finding, it seems like we're a shadow of ourselves. Look at sports history. We beat other football clubs like Brazil, Argentina. These guys were the heavyweights of that time. We beat them all hand, hands down. But, but today, what have we seen in the Olympics? We're not even participating. Where did we go? So, you know, we, we didn't even make the, you know, make the Olympics, both male and female teams. Um, so it's sad. You know, hopefully, you know, we, these are questions that I know that I would bring up, you know, to every guest that we interview this morning. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And we, I don't think we're a shadow of ourselves. We're a shadow of a shadow of ourselves. We're a you know, shadow. We're, <laughs> it's, a, it's a terrible thing. Sunday diaries after then, you. Yeah. <laughs> Stay with us, all right? Our first conversation this morning, we're going to be talking, you know, and breaking down the conversation concerning Andrew's Olympics uh, journey. And uh, we're starting with preparations. How well did we prepare for the Olympics? What were the things that we missed out on in getting our, you know, Olympics team ready for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics? We'll get into that conversation next after the short break. Good morning once again. We'll be back.